Item number SCP-1202 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures The subject exposed to SCP-1202 is to be quarantined from other site staff and personnel, unless outfitted with clothing completely covering their entire body. A skin suit is equipped to the exposed subject after transfer of SCP-1202. The afflicted subject is to transfer access to SCP-1202 to one other test subject before termination or death. It is recommended SCP-1202 be tested on D-Class already scheduled for termination. SCP-1202 was recovered beneath a frozen lake near Site in Canada. Personnel reported trouble sleeping and auditory hallucinations that often reference the location of SCP-1202. A team was sent to investigate the lake, based on the collected reports. A small wooden canoe was discovered in fragments on the lake bed next to an irregular ice formation. The chamber behind the blockage was empty, save for the frozen and emaciated remains of the body of one human male, later DNA tested and carbon dated, thusly identified as belonging to tribes once native to the lower portion of South America 800 years ago. The corpse itself has no interesting properties, except the position of the body. One hand is fixed on the forehead, and the other appears to be working a now absent object into its ear canal. Whether the cause of death is suicide or a cold is unconfirmed. The agent who first made physical contact with the corpse began to hear a voice that did not cease until he made contact with another human. The exposed D-Class reported hearing the voice at their grasping agent hand and indefinitely afterwards. The exact mechanism that enables this transfer is unknown, as is the manner in which SCP-1202 communicates with the subjects. SCP-1202 will converse with the afflicted subjects, lecturing them about a variety of topics, notably theoretical physics, biology, and the classified study of The psychological effect tends to be detrimental as the voice rarely ceases to talk for periods any longer than 20 seconds. The current D-Class responsible for bearing SCP-1202 requested to be euthanized at one week. The voice classified as SCP-1202 identifies itself as a former researcher at Site-18. Whether or not SCP-1202 is Dr. is still being debated. Although inquiries express the test subjects bearing SCP-1202 match archived profiles of the late researcher. Documentation Transcription from Agent Forward Agent began hearing the voice while in the company of the coroner who was examining the body found in the cave. Agent notified the site director. He was then tasked to record his initial conversation with SCP-1202. Hello. Can you hear me? I know you can hear me. Oh good. I've been expecting someone to come along, and here you are. You touched him, didn't you? My old friend? Yes, him. The one I had the falling out with ages ago? I was just having a conversation with him, and then you came along. What? Him? The frozen one with the splinter in his head? Oh yes, of course he's dead. Are you stupid? Stupid one he was too, my old friend. No offense to him, but it's true. Love him to death, that stupid one. He thought he could run. He ran all the way here. The man crossed an entire continent to get away from me. Ended up in a hole in the ice jamming a pick into his ear. I told him not to, again and again. Who am I? I'm… Who am I? I'm responsible for… The entire organization owes a great debt to me. Hmm. Of course you're interested. Yes, I'll tell you. But first I'd like to chat about things that we can both understand. Do you see that man in front of you? Yes, the one with the beard? I'm going to need you to kill him for me. Yes, I'm serious. How else will we get into headquarters undetected? He has the keycard. He has access to the… And once I get to it? I could be done with all this mess. No? I should have figured you weren't the type. Oh well. No, don't tell him you're hearing things. What? 
You already did. Are you an idiot? How long have you been working here to be stupid enough to tell them you're hearing things? Ah. <sighs> well, at least I know why you're recording what I'm saying. I figured you were just insane to begin with. That's a relief. You know, they're going to throw you into one of those rooms now. They'll have you drink that gel that that perverted doctor isn't allowed to touch. Worse, they'll keep me in here. I'm just far too interesting for them to get rid of. How? That is a good question. Although you are too stupid to understand. Let's say I was playing with strings and struck a wonderful note. Yes, I'm referring to that, you dunce. You're familiar with the concept. Sure, I bet you're familiar with the theory of relativity too. Familiar like I'm familiar with my strange uncle. I mean, learned, my stupid friend. Learned and familiar. Like how I'm familiar with your brain. No, technically I'm not alive. Not in a biological sense. No, you wouldn't understand. The Aztec man? I'm guessing roughly 1,000 years ago. Yes, I failed miserably at poking sticks into space-time. What? No! I'm not going to explain. You wouldn't understand. No, I'm not going anywhere. We've hardly even met. How rude of you. Note, he's humming now. He won't stop humming. He's been humming loudly for several hours.